Hello everybody and welcome back and happy Halloween. Welcome back to the Os World Cup 2022. The round of 16 is kicking off now. Huge weekend. We're going to be saying goodbye to many teams, many teams fighting for their lives here. In the first game here, we have one of those losers bracket matchups. It's a Nordic showdown between Sweden and Finland. I'm Doomsday. I'm joined with me by the magnificent Miles. Good morning, man. Good morning, Dooms. I'm happy to be here casting my first OWC match. We've got a banger one here, Sweden versus Finland, the Nordic matchup. It's going to be a bit of a grudge match. I think it's going to be really close, and I'm really excited to see how this match goes. Yeah, everything says this should be pretty close. I don't want to jinx too much, but this is a really well-poised matchup with the two teams, the skill sets they have, strengths and weaknesses. And of course, you know, it, it's, a, it's a local derby, Sweden versus Finland. It, it, the banter is going to be real. Looking forward to seeing how the multi-chat goes here. Yeah, it's the best part. And to add on to what you said about the skill sets of these two teams, I'd like to, I'd like to make the point that in the qualifiers results of these two teams, Sweden took every single Nomad and every single Hidden, and except for Nomad 2. And the opposite is the same except for DT1 and Finland. So might be seeing some skill set polarization between these two teams, but I think overall it's just going to add to how close this matchup should really be. Yeah, it's, it's one of those matchups where it looks like they're going to be trading hard on certain picks. You know, Sweden, they can combo game on some of those speedier double time picks, but you know, against Finland, Finland are far more comfortable it seems on paper uh, when it comes to that. So. Sweden will definitely be really strong in some of the other picks. They did really good on the low AR hidden uh, last week in the round of 32. And I imagine they'll continue it here, especially with the low AR map being a bit more reading heavy, assuming it survives the ban phase. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if it'll survive the ban phase, but it looks like Sweden is going to go into their first ban, banning out the DT3, one of the speed maps going out against Finland. I think that is... Absolutely logical, and there goes it into. Oh no, well, I tried, okay. Mm. Not too surprised there. Yeah, targeting the speed. There is still quite a bit of speed in this pool. They were saying this is a little bit more speed heavy than last week's was. Mm -hmm. You've still got uh, DT2, which is very speed focused. DT1 having more speed than the last one, as well as that Remod 2 still alive. I think all going to be picks that will be on Finland's radar, despite losing the DT1 in the qualifiers matchup. You were talking about uh, how the Nomad 2 stacks up between these two. Sweden kind of surprised us a little bit last week when they played against Russia, had a really good run on the Nomad 2 in the last pool. I'd say this one is not too different. It's still open, and uh, whether that was a fluke or not, I guess we'll see. It might come up here. I think it'd be quite contested. Yeah, but here comes the expected DT2 first pick out of Finland. Are you picking the Senya map by Satellite? You always love to see it. I name a better duo. Senya and Satellite. You know exactly what you're getting into when this comes up, right? Stamina, streams. The only, get. the only uh, pairing that comes to mind that can even come close to matching that is like Golden Wolf and Demetori. <laughs> yeah, true. Even the diff name is Satellite. <laughs> they, they, they know what's up. They know their reputation here. But yeah, this is a like, bridge big for Finland, really. I feel like I can just like close my eyes and imagine what the circles are going to be on the screen. Can you tell me it's Satellite mapping Senya? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a comfy style. It's a really popular style with players. And the aim is super smooth for the people that can deal with the stamina well. Can Sweden, you know, pull their warms together very first map? We'll see how warm they are after that. It could be a good pick if they're not quite on the ball with that. We'll see at the start how prepared they are for this. Yeah, but this Finland roster for DT, Freezed, Amacetic, Hadzax, also known as Hankseli, and Zeppe, are both going to be extremely strong on this type of map, I think. Meanwhile, Sweden going to be rolling with Knots, Turbob, Trumpetino, and Felreon to try and take the early break point. Here we 
we go then. The losers bracket matchup this. We're going to be losing one of these two Nordic teams, but one of them will be guaranteed in the quarterfinals from this. Let's we'll see which one it's going to be. Accuracy troubles on both sides in the beginning of this map. Knots down at 94 with his FA down also at 94. For it appears both sides are going to stabilize, except for a break from Turbop traded by Hank Sully though. Everyone on the Swedish side immediately down on the arc, holding on a little bit, but the combo is what matters, which is still very even. see how big of a difference the accuracy of Finland has already made. They're up by around 100,000 score only from the accuracy. Into the halfway point, combos are still completely equal. It'll be seeing who the next break is to shift it heavily in favor of one of the teams. Into this long stream, it's Turbop breaking again for Sweden though. Another one. Not many breaks though on either side. Still three FCs to three. Sweden's still in this, but the accuracy is still struggling. North dropping a lot of 100s, but he hasn't missed yet. They really need to prey on a break from Finland here if they want to get back into this pick. There's still a quarter of the map left. Sweden absolutely has a chance if the break does come in. But as it looks, Finland all getting through this difficult section. But there goes Zeppe! Wait, all the Felreon trades it! Uh, no change then, it's still with Finland. The two FCs, Freeze and Amacetic, rock solid with that accuracy. No problems at all. Yeah, Sweden had the chance with the break from Zeppe, but the trade from Felreon just instantly guaranteed the point for Finland. And look at Amacetic and Freeze, both FCing with a high 98 and a 99%. Almost 4 million score. I think that's just a textbook first pick. Speed pick, you know, speed players, man. Freezing Amacetic. Doing what we know they can do. And Finland, strong pick. Banks with a strong score too. But f Sweden held on pretty well. I think they should be looking pretty competitive for the speed picks coming up. But nevertheless, Finland's still definitely in the driving seat on those speed picks. Looking at that. Well, it's be Sweden's turn next to work with something here. And they could play into some of those maps where they can bring out more of the hiddens. Maybe the hidden one or some of those free mod bits, you know. They could go into that if they want to go immediately into Finland's van. I think they could also go for a Nomad, and I'm looking particularly at Nomad 3. Nomad 3 has a lot of aim control. It's quite and I'm not heavy as well. And I'm also not just saying that because of the song. <laughs> I really like this song. <laughs> the banger buff, isn't it? Quite a few in this pool, actually. Quite a few. Quite a few. I'm hoping to see plenty of that ch cheap old pick this weekend. Oh my god, Good. I agree with you, absolutely. That, I love that we're pulling that in 2022. I know. I know. Just put a no mod, I mean, it's already AR10, though. True. And Ghost Assash, Ghost Assassin with a custom, like, that song is like kind of a similar era I think, but it's mm. a custom map. They're gonna go for Nomad 4, Sweden. Bringing out some of the tech then, so it's not, not too far from the Nomad 3 you mentioned, they are going into more of that Nomad control. Very different sort of style though, very stream heavy, kick slider heavy tech. Definitely focused on the stream end of things when it comes to Nomad Tech. Mm -hmm. It's a custom map by Chaos Lips. I think it's extremely consistent, and I don't think we're going to see many players struggling with this type of map. But I do think it is something that is favored towards Sweden. When you look at the qualifier score, the tech map did go heavily in favor of Sweden by 500k, actually. So they're going to be looking to come out with a bang, similarly to how Finland just did with their DT2 pick. Yeah, they definitely have the more comfortable 
sort of tech map roster for sure. But they've been quite short and with it being quite focused more on the stream side of things and doesn't go too crazy with the sliders, it's a slightly different style, but nevertheless. Yeah, the edge definitely goes over to Sweden. They're bringing in some of their heavy hitters here. Silla's back in, who performed so well in the qualifiers and last week. Back in for this. Yeah, Silla is an extremely strong player. With the absence of Reed Cat, I think he's really the player being looked to to be the ace player for Sweden, Silla. Originally a hidden player, has branched out so much more going to be looked to perform on almost every skill set. As well as Blue, who is a very strong high ranking player for Sweden. Cannot really play speed that very well, so it's gonna be coming in for this tech map though. Yeah, one of their mechanics, linchpins for sure. And I think the change in style from last week does come into effect because there's no Kadzax who played the Nomad 4 really well last week, not into this one. Kind of surprising. Would have expected to see him in on this pick. Over into the intro, we're going to see some early troubles from Zeppe, Freeze, and Valrion. However, two of those breaks are from Finland, so we probably going to be fine with that for now. As aforementioned, this map is very consistent. Not really a dip spike in this map. The difficulty is going to stay there throughout. Freezed there straight after the break of the miss. Really is with Sweden now. And he drops again after really struggling so far on this pick. Aesthetic dropping too. It's only Desku now on Finland with that break from Zeppe. Meanwhile, Blue Knots and Scylla are still holding on. Knots going down, but still Blue and Scylla holding on. They're going to be able to take a monstrous lead going into the latter half of this pick. The last Bastion is Desku holding on. Still plenty of this map to go, and you mentioned it doesn't really like let up on the difficulty at all. But Scylla and Blue, the two players you really want on those combos in a situation like this. They're gonna show up. And there goes Desku for Finland. Now it's just gonna be Scylla and Blue running their big combos into the ending. Nothing Finland can do at this point. Sweden just looking so strong on their double FC here. Their lead is up at over 700,000 score now, it looks like. A less than that. But nonetheless, that is a dominating victory on the Nomad for Team Sweden. Yeah, huge. Another power pick to counter the Finland power pick. Scylla once again. We can start counting that FC streak, maybe. Maybe. Either way. Perfect start for Scylla here. Immediately, both picks. Really, really good to start this one off. And that is a slider break from Desku. He was really doing his best there for Finland. Nice run. Nice run, but Sweden just have a stronger four here. Finland had a couple players that had issues with the, the consistency on the aim. Not dropping too much act, but just the tech aim. Costing them there. The kick slider aim, really an underrated difficulty aspect of that map, seeing Freeze struggle a lot on some of those jumps when he is, I think, in at least one of Finland's ace players on a wide variety of skill sets. For sure, for sure. It's... And now, pick goes back their way. Gonna see what mod pool they intend to dip into next. And here's the free mod too, the other speed map gonna be coming out from Team Finland. Even more. This this one being in free mod, of course, the what's usually no mod five, the speed no mod is now free mod, so now you've got to put mods on it. And this one in particular has quite a few caveats when it comes to those mods, Miles, because it is slightly more difficult on hidden. It is much harder on harder for this speedy pick. 
Do you agree with me there? Uh, yes, I agree with you there. And also, one thing I'd like to point out is there's kind of been a little change of theme for this speed map. So we moved it from No Mod 5 to Free Mod 2. And also, it's gone from being what would be usually a, like a metal slot to like this sort of great core style that has a lot of slider jumps. A lot of aim here as well, with all those, you know, bursts and some slider stuff as well. There's a section in this map with uh, high SP sort of wiggly sliders as well, although really the main thing of it is that burst speed, you know, in the great core style. And you've got to put mods on it, of course. But I think the ability to play hidden is going to be able to let Sweden keep Scylla in the lobby, which might be huge for their chances on this pick. Absolutely. You want to keep him in as much as possible. And that just plays to his strengths quite a bit. Sweden do have a few capable uh, hidden players that could possibly take that. If you want to put you know, Scylla maybe on the no mod, but I'd agree with you. I think he'd be taking the hidden here. The prep mod player. Gonna be yeah. going in on his preference mod, of course. There it is, Scylla hidden. Not's gonna be taking hard rock, kind of surprising for me. Meanwhile, on Finland, it looks like Breezed is going to be taking the hard rock with Hedzax taking the hidden. No surprises there. Tino going to be finding some early troubles on that stack there. Sepe is going to be matching that break. Some early troubles for the no mod players, surprisingly. I mentioned how much harder this was on mods, but there goes Kedzax. So far, both of the hard rock players staying strong. Massive props to them. This becomes the highest star rating map in the pool by a lot with hard rock. Being able to combo it with that is very impressive. You think for the most part in this weekend the focus is going to be on the other players to really pull it home. But Hard Rock scores on this are going to be really impressive if they can rack it up well. Freeze dropped his FC. There's only Nauts left with the Hard Rock. All but Scylla and Trumpetino break on Sweden. It's going to send it right back in favor of Finland. Elrion. 99.7 for Valryon thus far. Very strong from him. Here is a bursty section. And there goes Knots. Hard Rock is down for Sweden, but Hadzak's Amesthetic and Zepe. It's a three way break for Finland. All of their Ooh, FCs down. It's just Valryon left. Just that one no mod for Sweden. He sees it at the break. He's got a chance here. So much of this map to go, though. Can they hold on to this speedier pick? Finland should still be pretty confident, but they're under the cuts right now. Oh, and it looks like there was a couple Banjo breaks. Kadzax and Freeze getting their combos back. It's for Banjo, man. Dang it, that was, was looking so intense for a second. Oh, what am I oh, talking about? It is still intense. Still is, man. Look at those combos from Sweden. They're going to be able to take this back if Finland gives it to them. Tino getting like buzz slided there. Some of those slider jumps. Amesthetic's gonna be finding a slider break.
a good spot for sure. Meanwhile, Team Sweden is going to be looking for players like Turbop to continue their re-established combos. And uh, looking at the guy in the top right of Team Sweden, not going to mention what he is doing. Starting to kick in now. Two breaks from Team Sweden. Four Ooh. breaks from Team Sweden. Oh no. It's a disaster. It truly is. Rip the SS. We can say it now. And that is disastrous for Sweden. Finland have everything here. I guess Isaac coming in to replace Freeze. Now the only FC into the last third of the map. He is doing his job. As the entirety of Finland actually is on this pick, they are up by such a large amount of score now. As mm. Team Sweden committed the tournament sin. The thing you want the least to happen to you in any tournament match, the four-way reset. Yes, Kewin. Isaac. Looking really good. Isaac with the only FC left. How long can he hold it? As long as he does, Finland are looking so strong. Sweden is breaking all over the shop. I think they know it's all over. They're relaxing a little bit, knowing that Finland had everything. And that surely has to be it. Yeah, no mod. There's not really much you can do when you're down this much score in the later stages of the map. Isaac finally dropping his FC, but he has done the work. Up at about 800k score with a little bit of map left. It's gonna be the top score on the map by a considerable margin. That is going to be a huge shout out to Isaac. Team Finland for getting this break point on the board for Team Finland early. They're going to be able to take a lead of 3-1 to one in this matchup going into their own pick. A huge turning point in this match, in this best of nine now. Finland looking really good. Nice consistency there. Sweden kind of struggling on that consistency. It's just not happening for them. Desku, that slider break though. Oof. Close. The dreaded no mod one slider break. You get one slider break at the halfway point, and now your score is capped at 680k. Still a good run from him, though. Not scoring most of the players on Sweden. And now with the pick back to Finland, I can't help but think they're just gonna be staring at that DT1 and salivating. Yeah, it's looking really pretty sitting there right now. That ghost assassin. A DNB DT. I mean, is this really the point to change the tactic? Sure, Sweden looked pretty decent, and that one is more about the aim. It is still very speedy. It's over 260 BPM, and it has a good amount of bursts. It fits the description. My logic is, you've been winning speed, you just won aim. You might as well just go for it. I mean, considering the normal one as well, it just, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. But will they? Will they? Never know, there's still a hard rock pool open, which they also seem to be advantaged on. They're gonna go for Nomad 2, Oceanus. Oh, okay then, okay. Well, you mentioned this earlier, Finland had the edge in terms of the qualifier scores on this, they looked better overall. I thought Sweden looked pretty good on the stream map last week, Miles. That they did. I think this is definitely could be a doorway for Sweden to get back into this match if they do perform well on this, but Finland is looking to kind of put the nail in the coffin in this match here. Go up 4-1 with this pick. I think it's not the worst idea, Nomad 2. When you are speed abusing, the next thing after the DTs is going to be the Nomad 2. So, it makes sense in a way, but still, I feel like they could have gone for something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more definitive. I suppose Finland are looking at their own players, and they know they have players that are going to be rock solid on a stream map like this. The accuracies are really good in qualifiers, and their scores, I imagine, must be pretty good. I suppose they're just ignoring Sweden's previous uh, run on this and just going with something they know 
they're going to be good at, right? But mm. I de depending on how Sweden play this, though, it could backfire. Um, it looks like it might be the similar roster to last week. Let me look. Uh, Nortz, Silla. Yes, the same roster that played normal 2 last week for Sweden are back. We'll see if it works out for Finland here. They're going to be rolling with that consistent roster, Finland. They've rolled with Freeze, Kadzak, Amacetic, and now Isaac going to be replacing Zeppe, who has played the other two speed maps. But he did look absolutely stellar on that Nomad 1, so if he's comfortable on this Nomad 2, I would definitely want that guy in the lobby. Yeah, this map is full of accelerating and decelerating streams. Streams that go from a complete stack into a spaced stream smoothly all the way through this map. The uh, velocity changes are very fierce. So it does take a very competent flow aim player to be consistent on this. Quite tough actually for an early round no mod 2 I'd say. At least in my opinion. I don't know if you'd agree but I find this quite hard. Mm. It was pretty difficult. I think for this pool. But I think it's something that is still accessible. These players should have a pretty decent time on this. Looking at Finland, no trouble at the beginning. Three SS is still on the board, and I can say that because it's still the slow part. I'm not cursing anybody yet. I think you'll get away with that one, mate. Mm -hmm. Let's see how long it lasts now, though. Here we go. The first key eye is where the streams start to get more intense. No break so far. There goes Felrion at the end of that little accelerating stream. And not Isaac dropping from Team Finland. That is a trade that Finland should be fine with. They still have three full combos on the board. Meanwhile, Sweden down to just Scylla and Turbob's reverse choke. Quite a few slow parts in this as well. We have to come back up a little bit of that multiplier. Next hard part now. Just the non FCs breaking. Amesthetic breaks. Tra traded by Turbob. Two FCs to one. Not going down again for Team Sweden. Freeze and Kadzak still holding on strong for Team Finland. There goes Kadzak. It is now Freeze versus Scylla, and both of them break! <laughs> There's nothing left, Miles. We're back to square one. 130k in advantage for Team Finland. They're still okay, but that is not insurmountable. We're only halfway. Yeah, we basically just restarted the map and gave Finland a 130k point at start. All the combos are even. You've got one last PI to go. And that's where the difference has to be made. But Felrion and Turbop finding troubles during the little build-up section. Kazak's trading it. But once again, that trade favors Finland. One big drop to go now before the end. It is still all to play for. But Finland still with the, the aces. There's really not much in it still. It is, it is a stream map with the unfortunate chain break. This could still go back in favor of Sweden. Starting with that break from Kazakhs, but Sweden needs a lot more than that. Ooh, no, the break there. Isaac finding the chain break, but... I don't it's think going it's going to be enough. It is going back in favor of Sweden, though. Yeah, advantage Sweden, final drop here. Everyone has to hold. Next with the break there. Emesthetic does again. as well. Wait a minute. There's only single taps left? There's not much left at all. It oh. might not be enough. And it's not. Finland clutching out that Nomad 2 by just around 40,000. That was extremely close at the end for what seemed like a very Finland favored pick at the start. Yeah, it was competitive against Sweden making these tapping maps pretty close but not close enough Finland have had the edge on it pretty much every single time and yeah they'll bank their own pick match point two 
They're in a really good spot, but Sweden have the next pick to keep this game going, to keep their tournament lives going. RNG abuse. <laughs> it's a brutal stream map. Gonna go for Nomad 3. Hey, he called it. I am very pleased. Gonna go with a dance in the game. This is Team Sweden. This is Nomad 3. Lots of aim control. Lots of alts and flow aim in this map. Yeah, it's got a bit of everything that you tend to see in these, these alt star maps in No Mode. It is very overlap heavy as well, so it does have a little bit of a reading element, although the AR is high, so it certainly isn't the AR, but there is quite a bit of overlapping patterning here you do have to manage. And some uh, tricky rhythms as well, some one sixes and things like that dotted around here. Mm -hmm. But you can highlight the reading difficulty on a map when the AR is as comfortable as 9.6, you know it's got something in store for you. Mm. Okay, it's a bit of a spicy one, this. Really fun, really fun. But spicy in the tournament setting. Personally, personally, my favorite map in this map world that was custom map. I mean, I'm biased towards Taiko time, to be honest, but this is pretty close. This is pretty close for me. I don't think uh, either of these teams played the No Mod 3 alt map last week. For one reason or another, I didn't want to go into it there. I think this map is going to be a lot different from that one, though. So. Mm. Yeah, very different. Sweden going to be bringing in Phelan for the first time this match, I believe, along with Tony, Reno, Scylla, and Blue. Got the hard hitters for Sweden in. Meanwhile, Finland going to be going with Freeze, Kadzax, Isaac, and Amacetic. Hard hitting roster from both teams on this map. Finland going to be looking to close it out with a 5-1 on this pick, but Sweden needs to get back in the match on this one. You mentioned it earlier as a good pick for him, and I'd agree. I'd agree, I think this is the one to go for. Yeah, I was thinking this one or the hidden one for them. Lots of players struggling with the intro on this. Getting caught out by some of those snap game patterns. Appears that players have started to stabilize though. Not getting caught out by any of the other patterns in this build-up outside of the direct intro. It's certainly the sort of map where it can take a minute to get used to the flow style and the snap style. Kadzax mm -hmm. and Feyland going to be dropping right before the chorus. Here we go. This is where we're really going to be expecting to see a lot of breaks in these Ki times. And we see it from Tony Reno. Feyland again. Struggling to establish a combo. Finland getting out of that section unscathed. With Isaac, Emesetic, and Freeze all on big combo. And Blue dropping his Ooh. combo as well. That's going to be disastrous for Sweden. Just Scylla left. Going into a very slightly calmer section. Very slightly. This map's very consistent. But look at Finland go. They still have two FCs and Isaac recovering. They are looking really good here. Emesetic's accuracy as well, up at 99.78, that's so strong. And that score lead is just shooting in favor of Finland so quickly. They're already almost 400k score in the lead, and there's still a third of the map left. And with those breaks from Sweden, you can almost just call it already. Emesetic dropping though. Freeze and Isaac though, they're still so good. Freeze the break there. It's still with Finland here, but it's pretty much broke even. That is oh, a... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's all Isaac all day now. 
all day, every day. Isaac, reverse choke special so far. That's a nasty section, it does catch him out. It's with Sweden again, but half a million score miles. That is a big difference, and it's not going to be made up. It's got to be all over. Sweden have nothing here now. It looks like, at the end of the day, it is going to be Finland on this alt map. The combos from Sweden all dropping, and the massive combos built up by Isaac, Amasetic, and Breeze. It looks like Finland is going to decisively take this Nordic matchup by the score of 5-1. to one. Finland have earned their bragging rights in this one, and they've won it in style. Really strong win, and a really strong last point here on this alt map. Nice team score, huge combos all the way past that halfway point. This will be the end of the road for Sweden, sadly. They are going to be heading out in the round of 32, uh, sorry, round of 16. Uh, always a pleasure to see the Sweden team back, though, and they've gave us some good matches, but this is Finland's day and they will move on. Absolutely, props to Team Finland. They came to this match prepared. They won all of their picks and took a couple break points as well. In a matchup that really appeared to be super close by all predictions, ended up being heavily in favor of Finland. Some extremely strong performances from them, especially going to be looking at Freezed and Emacetic and Isaac all playing extremely well for Finland. Yeah, I'm impressed with the way they dealt with some of those control-based maps. We were talking about how Sweden had the, the edge there, and perhaps they do, but Finland really showed up when it came to those. And when it came to those speed picks that we knew they were going to have the edge on, they made them count. Although they were pretty close. All in all, though, Finland just had that little bit more where it really mattered today. And they're going to need that when it goes on to the, the quarterfinals weekend, which they have made. They'll be playing again next week. Of course, we'll find out who they're going to be playing later on.